Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it will be easy lighting modifications on Project ND. Okay, so these are the lights I ordered from Flying Miata. I ordered these for the front turn signals. This is the following part number. I have ordered these for the rear backup lights. The following part number. This is the rear LED tag light. And of course, they've included a cool little light bulbs. You're going to want to remove these plastic clippers here. Remove these two. There's one over here. Don't think you can quite see it. Removing this one, this one, this one, this one. Of course, this one, this one, and then the one in the top up here. So we can get these two opened and I can reach my arm through. Okay, so I had to remove more. Removed this one, this one, and these ones. Because as you will see, or as you can probably barely see, right here is the valve I will be taking out for the turn signal indicator. And replacing. Make sure you do not touch the new bulb with your fingers on the bulb part. Okay, so right here is your thumb clip to pull it off right here. Very easy. Then you're going to take this, turn it towards the driver's side. Voila. Okay, so Again, you're going to want to be careful not to touch these bulbs. This one, I guess it doesn't matter because you are you probably wanted to wear gloves if you're trying to save this, some neoprene or whatever they're called, gloves. Pulls out. Put it, just grab it here only on the yellow. Push it down, you will feel it clip in. Or hear it just like we just, huh, doesn't go in very tight. Let's see. Yeah, nothing goes in very tight, not even that one. That's in. This is what it looks like when installed. This is the factory OEM bulb. This is the four ways. This is what it looks like installed.
And of course, this is the uninstalled light. If you were putting the MX-5 thing sequential churn signals in, which as you know I already have, you will need to remove this side panel here with the little plastic little rivets or whatever they call them. You need to remove this panel right here. Across here and over to here. Okay, so the light here, you will have to push this little clip right here and pull to get this out. And these little guides here just come out on their own. This is only removed to add the MX-5 things resistor harness, which is right back in here. It just plugs in and loops just like this because now I'm going to have all LEDs and it would get a hyper flash. Okay, so for the rear backup lights, they're down here. You will need to jack the car up and remove these bolts. These were bolts were in here. These bolts were in here. You'll need to remove them along with this plastic clipper that was there over here. So here is a bolt, here is a bolt, here is a plastic clipper, here is a clipper with the screw built in. You'll need to remove all those and then you can pull this down. Okay, so these are very hard to turn with the new longer LED bulbs in there. Takes a lot of making sure that the, the gray ring is flat onto the housing and turning. Again, very hard to get them to turn all the way. They have to be straight up and down just like they are right now or like they were when you took them off or they are not tight. Okay guys, this is the difference. The left side is the new LED. As you can tell, the right side is the incandescent. To get this going, there's these two nipples here, or thumb, whatever they call them, that press here. You press on that, and then you can get something underneath it, like my fingernail on the back side. That's how I got the other one out. They are not easy. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> when you say that after you do it once, it's a lot easier. <laughs> now that you got it down, there's not a lot of cable here. That's going to be the next problem. <clears throat> they do not give you a lot of cable. As you can see, that's almost all there is. The other side, I swore it came down more. Okay, so the way it works is this is in here and it has to do a half a turn to get it out of here. So you just have to work with what little bit you're given. Then you take this and, well, you gotta get this guy out first. You gotta get the bulb out. There you go. Then you take this, this part here goes to the back. This bigger thick part right here goes to the back. And I plugged it up just like this. Not sure which red or black really matters. We're gonna run a test here to see but it just plugs in like it's the bulb. So as you can see, I put the red on the right and the black on the left. This will need to go back into here now. This cable will have to be shoved down in the hole. Okay, and this is what it's like with the OEM backup lights.
when in reverse in the dark. And this is what the turn signals are like in the dark. The OEM turn signal bulbs. And this is the rear OEM license plate light. And again, as I've said in other videos, but I couldn't show you in the dark, this is the MX-5 Things rear LED. This is the MX-5 Things rear sequential churn signals that I already have installed and have told you about but never showed you in the dark. And this is the reverse lights after upgrade. Way brighter. I think possibly this has made the OEM backup camera look clearer, not quite as fuzzy. And this concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as it would greatly be appreciated. Have a good week.